Welcome everyone to game number three between Keller and freaking Andy in Deathmatch World Cup 5. This is the group stage and this is a best of five. The score is one to one. Spawning in in the south of this Four Lakes map, we have Keller and freaking Andy in the north. Keller playing as the Malians, Andy as the Tatars. I don't know if there was a draft in Civ picks. I don't know what players are picking for in Deathmatch. I don't honestly know. But you can see the heavy camel riders popping out immediately here for Keller. Getting that defense in, so that scout not going to be able to find any damage. The Husser, the same thing. So camel v camel. And the Molly and camels, a pretty dominant unit with 7 plus 7. The Tatar, yeah, the Tatar camels. <laughs> T -t 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 uh, the Tatar camels, no slouch either. But the Molly and camels, really a much better unit. The Tatar camels only bonus, as far as I know, is the hills. Now, Camel Cav Archer is going to be a pretty dominant force, and you can see the Quick Walls for freaking Andy. I don't know what the walling rules are in this game. I think Quick Walls are allowed, but Walls are not. I don't know. I don't really know. As you can see, definitely a lot of Quick Walls uh, being added in here. Keller not doing so much of the Quick Walling, but getting that Eco out. And the market play for Keller, and this is something you see... In these games, I don't see a market here for freaking Andy. The market play is important. Let's check for market events. What you can do is if you do the market play first, you can get far more gold in the bank. And Keller, uh, n not yet going for that market play, but something that is pretty common as Keller making those Molly and Champ Scarls, one plus seven Pierce armor against the Cav Archers. Now, the Champ Scarls, not so good against the Camels, so. I still like the Cav Archer Heavy Camel play. The Heavy Cav Archer Heavy Camel play. This Cav Archer's going to be coming in looking for the raids as the populations are pretty similar. But Keller, again with the military control, looks like Keller's builds. And yes, they have very specific, very precise build orders. But it looks like Keller's are a little bit better than Andy's. Because Andy's been spending a lot of time grinding out his RM stats. A really dominant RM player these days as well. And I hope... The audio is all right. I will be checking the audio here. Well, I've got a new mic, and I will be checking the audio, but right now I've got to get these recordings up because, well, I've got to get these recordings done and then work on the audio afterwards just because of the nature of how I do things and what works best. I'm having trouble downloading Rex, so I have to catch these games live. That's also why we started in game number two. I need to figure out what's going on with my Rex on spec dashboard. It just doesn't let me download any Rex. So that's annoying. But the Siege Onager play from our Malian player. Siege Onagers are going to be pretty great against the Heavy Cav Archers. But not when you nuke your own units, Keller. Keller out here. And if you notice, this looks pretty fast. It is fast. Deathmatch played on fast speed. Keller really blasting into these camels. But getting a little careless... What a fight we have going on here, and I can't tell what is happening, guys. And it looks like Andy able to push back Keller, but that's no surprise as the defender's advantage is pretty massive on Deathmatch. Neither player with any sort of eco just yet. Eight. Oh, wow. The raid's a little bit better for Keller with 13 to 9 in the eco department and that's big because those villagers are dropping town centers you got to get town centers up very soon so it's four castle four tcs and three castles for keller and only two town centers and three castles for andy and this castle looks like it's probably gonna get denied the cav archers come over they don't deny it they do not deny it for the time being I've never seen so many one villager castles, and neither have you. But that's just deathmatch for you. And I think if Andy is paying attention, he'll deny this. Just snipe off that villager, and it's denied. Does so. Castle is denied, and this castle is going to go up for freaking Andy. Andy also in the back of Keller's base, getting some raids in with the Hussars. It's hard to follow all the action on this Four Lakes game. They're even adding fish. Keller looking to take control of as much of the map as possible. Adding fish in the right-hand pond and really surrounding Andy with the pressure. But Andy with the bigger popular... Well, Andy with a larger military but fewer villagers. 
Locking down this left-hand side of his base and the right-hand side expanding out with town centers, he's got some trebuchets to start shelling down those castles. And it will begin to do so, but trebuchet is coming out for Keller's castles as well. And these are Tatar fully upgraded trebuchets. And I just realized, guys. Oh, no, these are Tatar. Um, flaming camels wouldn't be stupid. You're like, yes, they would. No, because there's camels out here and camels counter flaming camels. And the sniper trebs blasting off some of these siege onagers. These siege onagers are pretty massive here. But the camel's running in and sniping off the sniper trips. And this castle, under heavy pressure from Keller, but freaking Andy has these sniper Tatar trebs with their 16 plus 3 range. So two extra, three extra range over our Malian trebuchets. And these champ scarls, they do stand up to a lot, but my goodness, these Tatar heavy cav archers blasting them down like they're nothing and forcing the trebuchets back there's so many cav archers here and this is a force that's going to be very hard for keller to defend however the light cav in getting some villager kills on the back of andy's basin the eco again in favor of keller by 20 villagers and that's 20 villagers to help boom as these players are rushing out eco andy with some fishing in the back of his base, but Keller on all the other three pawns, all th three of the four corners, getting that fishing in. But this push in the middle for Andy is going to be hard for Keller to stop. Yeah, there's a lot of heavy, uh, there's some onagers there, but, and I'd love to see these Gabettos mixed in. Hard to click on them, I'm zoom that a little bit. Elite Gabetto deal a lot of damage, pretty terrible against the Cav Archer, but as a backline unit behind those Molly and Champ Scarls, they can be the damage dealer. Not how this is playing out, though. They are not working out at all. And these stables over here, there is a castle over here to start defending that. And if you've ever played Deathmatch, this is so hectic and so wild. Hard to pay attention, hard to realize the value of the fights, and hard to get your eco rolling at the same time as Andy. Now, with the eco lead, with, I would say, with the eco lead, with the military lead, with these heavy cav archers being still a very dominant unit, as long as they don't take but just a couple shots from these siege onagers, change the whole game. That's why you see freaking Andy going in after them so hard, and oh! Oh! Curse of the caster. Don't worry, I'm about six minutes behind live time, so it wasn't me, but that was a big shot. That Siege Onager definitely paid for itself, dropping down. Looks like about ten uh, heavy cav archers. Light cav looking for raids, but there are Tatar castles everywhere. Sure. Apologies. So my microphone has a very cool feature. It's tap to mute feature. And I think I tapped it and muted my coughing, but when when I tapped it to bring it back online, it didn't come back on, so I was muted for a little longer than I meant. And Molly and uh, Gabetto is a great raiding tool. However, these are sniper castles with their 11 plus 1 range. It looks like, no, 11 plus 4 range. This center control, this hill is such a big deal for the Malians. The Tatars gain access to this hill. It's going to be mighty hard for the Malians to push that back. Tatars on the hill. A scary thing indeed. As the Siege Onagers come forward again. Siege Onager, I should say. And big shots in play here. The Cav Archers. The Keshik's able to run in and snipe it off. Now the Cav Archers allowed to play. But there are more. There's more Siege Onagers coming. But more Keshik's incoming. And these Keshik's. Gonna split in here, take out these Siege Onagers. Very valuable. The Keshiks are paying for their price in gold, certainly, by sniping off these SO. And Keshiks, a very cool unit. A very good unit. Very cost efficient unit. Sniping off the Trebs as well. This is a big push for Andy. He's trying to take this hill right now. And if he takes this hill, I'm afraid it's the GG. He's got six trebuchets back there, able to take the castle down. What does Keller do? He was repairing that with 20 villagers, 19 villagers it looks like. If this hill is held for Keller, for Andy, Keller's in trouble. So that's the center of his base. And this castle being shelled down now by the five remaining trebuchets. This castle being shelled down by two trebuchets. 
as well. So pushing everywhere is Andy. Another castle being added. This is the GG moment. Does this castle go up or does it go down and get denied? There's an awful lot of villagers building that castle, so it certainly goes up, but this is a costly castle, and it goes up, but how long does it stay up? It's already got three trebuchets bombing away at it for Keller. This is a big moment. The treb the castle went down here. These trebs, though, for freaking Andy are going to go down, and some villagers probably also going to go down. I take it back. Not the case. This castle going down. These villagers probably going to be raided by this singular elite Gabetto. This castle is indeed going to be going down the three trebs that started out on it. Able to push it down. Now the villagers pulled, but this is way too late. And the GG's called Keller drops game number three, a two to one in the series for freaking Andy. Let's check the statistics very quickly. Military stats. You can see Andy with a better KD by 1.31 KD ratio and a larger army, 108 didn't lose a single building that game. Wow. Incredible. Wait, what? What? Oh, yeah. Incredible play by both players. The economy Keller again with the eco lead, but very close this time. Only 300 and some resources apart. Relic gold Keller with four relics collected, but they didn't have time to pay off just yet. In fast speed, they do pay off a lot faster, but not paying off just yet. Castle is better for Andy. Keller with that better fishing ship eco, but a freaking Andy taking control of the eco. And you can see both players only one APM apart. These players are so evenly matched in speed, and they're playing deathmatch. Very cool to see. I hope you enjoyed this deathmatch World Cup series. To this point, we're going to be jumping in to game number four. I hope you enjoyed. We'll see you in the next game.